So what happens when we change the concentration? If we increase the concentration of product, then the rate of the reverse reaction increases. So here, we've got an equilibrium between N2O4 and NO2. If we add product, like we were adding people on the right side to Middle Earth, that causes the reverse reaction to increase because this concentration is higher. So the reverse reaction will go faster and it will it'll equilibrate, right? It'll, it'll go until the rates of forward and reverse reactions are the same and then we have a dynamic equilibrium where the reactions are still proceeding in both directions but the concentration on each side is constant, it's not changing. And we have an illustration for this. So this is that same equation, but with pictures. Pictures are great. So here we have an equilibrium situation. We have one, two, three, four molecules of NO2. That's the product. And we have two molecules of N2O4, the reactant. And so we're adding some product to this mixture. That's going to cause the equilibrium to shift to the left, cause the reaction to shift to the left, and these, these added products are going to react and form more reactants in an effort to reduce the number of products. We added product, the reaction will shift to reduce the product, to undo what we did. You could think of it as, as sort of a, a cranky person, you know, and it's like whatever you suggest, they don't like, right? It's like, well, let's do this. No, I don't want to do that. Well, let's do the opposite thing. No, I don't want to do that because you suggested it, right? My kids do that to each other sometimes. So you add product, it shifts to reduce that. The opposite, if we add reactant, here we're adding some of the reactant. Well, that causes it to shift to the other side because we added N2O4, it's cranky and fights back and says, well, I'm going to shift and reduce what you did to me. Okay? So it's going to shift over over there. So here's a similar illustration, but now we're adding the reactant instead. When we add this reactant, then some of those are going to fall apart and reduce that increase in concentration. So in summary, if you increase the concentration of a reactant, it could be one or more. We were just looking at something simple that had one reactant. But that's going to cause the reaction to shift in the direction that will reduce that to go in the direction of the products. If we increase the concentration of a product, it will cause the reaction to shift to the reactants. Does anybody have any questions? So here's an example. Consider the following reaction, which is in chemical equilibrium. What would be the effect of adding more bromine to the reaction mixture? So if we, if we take this guy and we increase the concentration of, of bromine by adding some, is the reaction going to shift to the left or to the right? It's going to shift to the left because it wants to undo what we did. What if we add more BrNO? What if this is increased? How is the reaction going to, going to react? It'll shift to the right to undo what we did. It's fighting back. What if we remove some bromine? So we take this and we decrease the concentration. It's going to shift to the right to try to increase that. Okay, so if we increase something, it's going to shift away. If we decrease something, it's going to shift towards that. Does that make sense? Yes. 